it is Thursday and today is Draw With The Grandparents Day. Thank you to everyone who sent in beautiful Doctor Who pictures yesterday. They made mine and Mum's day looking through them. They were honestly so good. But today we're going to be drawing a post box, which is really sweet. I think it's probably my favourite picture that I've been teaching these past few weeks. And Mum and I were talking to our postman this morning and he was saying that it's been really nice and there's been an increase in handwritten letters. So that's why we're doing a post box. Let's get started. <music> So I've just got my warm up piece of paper here. It's just some scrap paper. This is just to warm our hands up and get us ready for drawing. So I'm just gonna draw some rectangles because if you have seen what we're gonna be drawing, we're gonna be doing loads and loads of rectangles. And can you see I'm using my pencil halfway up? So we want really loose marks. So some big rectangles like that, and then some little ones because we've got all kinds of rectangles in this picture which I think you are really gonna love. And can you see that I'm just moving my hand to do each of the lines? I'm not doing, because the lines aren't very straight, you've got to move your hand to the position that you feel most comfortable. And then I'm just gonna do a couple of curves because on the top of our letter boxes, we've got some curves. Let's move on to the picture. <music> So now that we've war all warmed up and we are got already drawn some rectangles, we're going to start with a rectangle in the middle of the page. Just some really loose lines right in the centre of our page. Don't worry if it's not exactly straight, mine definitely isn't. And then we're going to go on top of that, we're going to bring this line out ever so slightly and then we are going to draw another really small rectangle, just like we practiced on the warm up. And then on top of that, one more rectangle. This one is not as big as the one in the middle and it's not as small and thin as the one we've just drawn. Then we're gonna go beneath that and we're gonna go actually outside and kind of curve down there. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. And then I'm just gonna join that up. And I'm not really happy with my top line here, so I'm just gonna rub that out and do that again until I'm happy with it. And then we're gonna do this final last, it's kind of like a rectangle, but we're not gonna put in the bottom line. So we're gonna go out and down and then out and down. And we're not gonna put in a bottom line because that is gonna be where the ground is. So it, we're gonna show you the guide sheet and you can have a go at doing that. I'm going to start at the top and we're going to put in one more very thin rectangle just like that and once we've done that we're going to do two lines pointing diagonally outwards and this is going to make the very recognizable top of our post box and then I'm just going to do another really small rectangle two little lines at the side another line at the top and then we're going to do a curve and I'm just going to put a little dot in there and then I'm going to bring that round using my wrist and then I'm going to have to do what mum does and turn the page just so that I get in that other nice curve. and then the very last thing we're going to do is just put in the ground so just does not have to be straight just a bumpy line just like that and that is our second step So I'm going to start at the very top and all I'm going to do is put in a few little lines on the very top rectangle that we've got. I'm not sure if this is in the guide sheet, but we're going to use it when we come on to do some painting. And then inside this slightly bigger rectangle we've got here, I'm going to do one smaller rectangle. Just like this. And then inside that, I'm going to do another one just like that. And if you find it easier to just color that one in, that is where you post all your letters. I'm then gonna come onto this much bigger one. And again, we're gonna draw another rectangle. So full of rectangles, this drawing. And then just a few little scribbles and then two little lines, just like that. 
doesn't really matter that bit just you can put whatever you want inside that little rectangle i'm then going to come on and we're going to do a little crown down here and it's not going to be all nice and joined up it's just going to look like a few scribbles so do not worry about it i'm going to do two lines here and then just some squiggles going up like that yeah and that is the very end of our drawing i'm going to come on and use some watercolor pencils to paint this but if you don't have any watercolor pencils don't worry, you can still watch it and just use whatever you've got, your crayons or your pens or your watercolour paints. But let's move on to the painting. So I've got three watercolour pencils here. I'm going to use a red, a green and a black but you guys can do anything you want. You can add a gorgeous blue sky or some little flowers if you want. But I'm just gonna start with the black and we're gonna do, gonna lean quite hard. I'm just gonna go over the line that I made and then still quite hard, just putting some of the pigment down onto the page. And then I'm gonna do the little bit where the, all the letters are gonna go. And then I'm gonna take my really small brush and do this and turn it to paint. Now, if you've been watching these videos for a while, you'll know, that's too small a paint brush, you'll know what these pencils are because we love them and we use them all the time. So you, once you've put it on your page, as soon as you add water from your paintbrush on, the pencil marks that we've made turn to paint and they are really, really easy. And I use them all the time for little paintings that I do because they are very mess free. It means I don't have to tidy up my desk much afterwards. So once we've turned all the black that we've done into paint, I'm gonna come and take my green and I'm just gonna go over the marks that we made here, trying to make sure it doesn't touch the black. And I'm then just gonna put a little bit of paint on the page and I'm actually gonna add a couple of bits of grass, just like that. And then I'm gonna take the medium brush again and turn those pencil marks that we've made into paint. And I'm gonna go over the grass as well. Then I'm gonna take my red. This is gonna be final color we're gonna use. And I'm gonna go over all the marks that we made during step one, two, and three of the drawing. So I'm gonna start at the top and trying to lean really hard with these marks to go over the rectangles that we've made and all these marks. Now you guys can take your time doing this. I'm just going to rush a little bit because I want to make sure I don't take too long and you guys don't have to watch me put marks on a page for too long either. So once I've made kind of all my basic marks, I'm then going to go in on the crown, lean really, really heavily because when we add the water to it, I still want to be able to see the marks on the crown that I've made. And the same, I'm just going to do a box here. So I'm going to add paint, but before that, because I want it to be really red, I'm just going to really lightly, can you see that I'm using, holding my pencil at the very top, just going to do a few marks just to make sure that it's not because I want it to be quite a dark red and quite bright. So just a few marks here and there. And then I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm gonna start at the bottom, just bringing in all the pencil marks that we've made to get that really nice color. And what you should see as we go over the crown is that the space turns to red, but we've still got those marks that we've made and you can still clearly see the crown shape. I'm gonna keep adding water to my brush so that it doesn't get too dark. And I'm also gonna go over that space there where we've got the few little scribbles. Just keep going. Now, these pencils are available at the Little Art School shop. If you go onto our website, you should find it there. And they are absolutely brilliant. And already the people who have been sending photos onto our Facebook page 
who have these pencils, they are all, all your pictures are looking fabulous. Very last thing I'm gonna do, I'm, you guys, I want you to wait until your picture's dried, but I'm just gonna go in with my black and do the scribbles and the two little lines. And the very last thing, which we always have to do on our pictures is sign it so that we know whose picture is whose. And I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope you really enjoyed that post box picture and please send, share it with as many people you can, not just your grandparents, but your aunts, your uncle, your friends, share it with everyone. Mum's going to be back tomorrow and it's going to be a really exciting picture and I can't wait. It's Toy Story so we've got Buzz and Woody so make sure you're back tomorrow to see those.